Oh my gosh. Elizabeth, what more are you learning? Good morning, Kate. So this is obviously the biggest escalation since those March raids on Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami. We are now hearing that federal investigators are preparing to possibly bring witnesses in front of a federal grand jury in New York City. What we have heard is that possible witnesses have been notified that they could be called to testify. Now, sources do caution that investigators are still in the process of of gathering information. In fact, they are still calling in new witnesses and they have called in some witnesses multiple times. We also hear that the majority of the accusers who have filed these civil lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs have been brought in for questioning and again, some of them being called in numerous times. We hear that many are cooperating and even handing Elizabeth, what more are you learning? over evidence that they feel could be relevant into this federal probe. Now, a spokesperson for Homeland Security did not respond to our request for comment about the presence of a grand jury, but they did confirm that this investigation is presently ongoing. And Elizabeth, what are you learning about the evidence that investigators could be reviewing here? So as I mentioned, those federal raids that were conducted on his homes back in March, obviously a lot of people wondering what was seized. Well, we are learning now that federal, investi federal investigators, now when the raids first happened, we had a law enforcement source tell us at CNN that the investigation was largely based in sex trafficking, which is what HSI uh, specializes in. Now we are hearing that that scope has been widened and that investigators are really looking into all of these claims put forth in these civil lawsuits. That would include not just sex trafficking, but also money laundering and illegal drugs. I have a source who tells me, quote, this is much bigger than just these lawsuits. Federal investigators now. All right. Let's talk about Diddy, right? Well, let's talk about um, live on air. Let's talk about a different um, approach to the situation. Because I'm like, if I was Diddy and I had cameras in my all throughout my house and I threw big parties, I had NDA signs, waivers. Everybody references my parties. Ain't no party like I did a Brody, LeBron James. Um even in Madagascar, oh, this is like a Diddy party, right? Um, even the fir first Madagascar, go back. Um, Chris Rock said that when they went to the uh, forest and it was a party going on and it was just wild, right? I'm like, man, back in the day when I grew up, not saying it was right, but you would see the older niggas tricking off on the younger, like little 16, 17, those that was about to get out. Like, it was normal because... Even in, um, I'm like I said, I'm not saying it's right, but we weren't we weren't that sensitive about that information and the way we handled things because probably right now a lot of those people can see that some of those dudes who got with them younger girls and all that stuff, they're still together right now. They're still together. They didn't just get with them, have sex with them, and did it, like no, they got with them felt some type of way about them and wanted to provide for them. That's just the, that little young aspect. Now, when it comes to Diddy and Cassie and the video of him coming out and beating her, of course, who can, who can stand by that? Nigga kicked her in the head. Knock it off. Nobody's standing by that. We're not defending Diddy on that. No, not at all. Um, but I think it was somebody who said something about the age difference between him and Cassie. So I'm like, like let's knock that off. Um, and then two, Look at yourself when you judge somebody else for what they do sexually. Like, act like you ain't never. Because I'm thinking like, yo, y'all motherfuckers know y'all some freaky beings, nigga. Y'all some freaky beings. Freaky. Every dude who I know and that, are, like, bruh, listen. If you could smash two girls at once, if you could smash 10 girls at once, if you could smash 50 girls at once, you would do it. So let's not go and act like the Diddy parties was out of line. No. These people came to the, they were invited and they came. 
knowing what a Diddy party would actually entail, right? Um, so we can't just say there and be like, oh, you went to a Diddy party and we're going to judge Diddy for the things that was happened at that party. No, we got to judge you for being there. We got to judge you for even being invited. You came, you seen, you stayed. You did this, you did that. And now that this is coming out and people are telling you it's wrong about the parties, not about the fighting, right? Um, so I'm like, but you was at the party. You partake in whatever functions that was happening and all this stuff. Like, Diddy being gay? Like, what? It's okay for us now to clown Diddy because he's gay? Something we all knew? Something that Tupac told us? We all known that he's been this type of way and Diddy parties have went down. But now that it's on CNN, we willing to throw him into the fire. Um, and the only thing I can say is over time, he's been a winner. He has. He's been a winner. Now, maybe him dangling uh, a, a Wale off the uh, rooftop or the balcony, that didn't go so good for talking to Cassie. Um, blowing up Kid, Cardi, Kid Cuddy's car because it's, you know, um, he was talking to Cassie. Or I don't know what it was. But y'all have defended niggas like your brothers, your cousins for shooting and killing niggas randomly and all that. Like, y'all have defended them for actually killing people. And they're like, y'all sitting here judging Diddy off a car he blew up. Y'all sitting here daying niggas that y'all done been out in public and that nigga done put his hands on you. Other niggas have came in and intervened and threatened to whoop that dude's ass and y'all stayed with him. Y'all went back to him. That nigga that was beating you could have pulled out a gun and shot the nigga trying to intervene. And while he in jail, you still talking to that nigga. What are you talking about? How can you judge anybody or anything? I'm not defending Diddy. I'm just questioning everybody that's on that other side of the coin. Like I spoke about earlier. Like, yo, I'm not saying nothing he's dead is right. I don't agree with nothing. Or how he lives his life. But I'm just putting a mirror to you motherfuckers. Like, it's a lot of no ditties, no ditty going on, right? Um, Because they saying that's gay. But if we was out here saying no, um, uh, what's that nigga? Uh, no uh, Montana, whatever that nigga. The, the nigga that hang out with uh, Carisha and them or who, uh, Montana. I don't know what that nigga name is. Who else is gay? I don't fucking know. Um. I don't know. No Lil Nas X. No Nas X. That nigga been gay. Why ain't we talking about that about him? No Nas X, man. No Nas. No Nas. No Nas, bro. No, no, no. No X. No X. Knock it off, bro. Like, we ain't talking about... And something triggered my mind. Just like how... Just like how... Whew, hold on. Just like how... The industry buys meme pages... And bots and people that control social media and get people start trending. Basically, they're buying something. They're paying money to set trends. And um, that I think that no Diddy thing. This could be a whole campaign to decredit Diddy. We done known about Diddy for 20, 15 years. Why in 2024 election year when things are, why are we so mad? Why are we so, oh, fuck P. Diddy. A video came out like, yeah, let's be real. Two, three, four months ago, six months ago when Cassie put that thing out and said what he did and we all read the lawsuit and he paid that money the next day. We knew it was all true. But somehow you're more angry now that you've seen it. Now, I could understand if that was your sister, if that was your cousin, if that was your yeah, 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 yeah. But if you knew it all, what's the difference between knowing it happened and seeing that it happened. What's the difference? When both is true. I guess seeing is believing it. That's putting that extra pat. But I want you to control yourself. Like. Look at the people that control the industry. They're not like us. Shout out Ken. They're not like us. Like what you see when you're looking at. They're not like this. They're different people. And they profit. Off of our struggle. Off of our. Our lack of leaders, they profit off of our lack of leadership in the community. They take what's cool and market it. But the real problems 
that live in our community, they profit off of them. You see what I'm saying? That's a that's money to them. We're making them richer based off our stories and our struggle. While we sit and get government funded shit and blah, blah, blah. They're profiting off the people who are getting that telling stories. Control our stories. What the fuck? Nah, nah, man. Knock it off, bro. Nah. I get deep. When you think about that, like, bro, nah, that get deep, bro. I don't care, no. Nah. What did I say? Needs access to your Facebook account. Nah, man. This Diddy shit is, um, we might be getting thrown for a loop here. Only way to put it. We might be getting thrown for a loop. We might be getting bamboozled. We sitting over here thinking, oh, Diddy is the worst guy ever, right? Oh, my bad. I think that's going to pop up over there. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. What the hell is happening there? I have no idea. Oh, my bad. It's just bothering me. Like, what is happening? Restream, reconnect, reconnect then. What the hell are we doing? Whatever. Um, Because I'm recording, so I'm good. But let's not. Um, I feel like when everybody is telling me to look that way and look at this, that, that, especially the media, and they're like, I'm going to look this way. Because I would want that grace. I would want somebody to look over there and be like, nah, something else going on here. If you knew about this for years, it ain't like you can do this type of stuff in secret. Y'all been getting away with it. People around him been knowing it's happening and, and he been getting away. Like, no, why this year? Why this year? And everybody turning on him? Like, nah, I can't um, I can't agree with how they, they these folks getting down with Diddy. Nah, I'm sorry. As much as I want to, I can't. I can't, and um, I won't. It's that simple. What else we got? <laughs> she throw it all. Sure I just so motivated. Off of <laughs> I, I just called know. Luke's ass. He ain't there. She throw it all. Sure just just so 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 I just called Luke's ass. He ain't there. She throw it all. Sure just so 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 I just called Luke's ass. Nah, for Diddy. That's why I said, niggas, like, come on. No, I was referring to. No. Cause see the thing that I got with Diddy oh, is Oh no, see I'm no. no listen. The thing I got with Diddy is I'm I'm mad that he hit his girl. I'm sure of it. But how many women are out there that are still with a man that beat him and had another dude interfere and that dude do something to him? like yo, y'all are still with that dude still. It's a trauma. It's it's not it's not it's, be, it's something be as can't. it may. Be as it may. No, no, who are we putting? Not, who are we putting not, blame to? See, because because money is is a, and that's what I'm saying. That's it's a spiritual warfare. It's not just all a right. So from one, all right, all right, thing, all right, listen. Not, but from one to ten, I'm how not, much how much blame are you putting on Cassie versus Diddy? I'm definitely putting more blame on fucking Diddy. Okay, what how the much fuck do you mean? One to ten. As far no, as far as give me a percentage that was wise. The movie, we the movie was. <laughs> one to ten. No. No, I'm I'm giving I'm giving how much a, fault of it is Diddy? At least eighty, and that's generous. That's generous. Eighty percent. I'm giving eighty percent to Diddy at least. So Diddy, let's let's just go back no. to let's just go back no, to when no no wait wait wait. This isn't a good topic. For no, it is. Long. Let's just go back no, to when Diddy no, met not. Cassie. Let's just start there. When Diddy met Cassie, he met Cassie and he said, "Hey, I like you. Would you like to go on a date with me?" Did she say yes or did she say no? She said yes. But she she did said not yes. Know who he she was. didn't vet this, that, that, or this. Even though at the time that they met, but the thing is, Biggie has been killed. Tupac has been killed. There's been stories about Diddy. That. She might not have known all that. Listen, she said yes. Listen to me, Cassie was doing the freak off. She was letting other people fuck her in front of Diddy and doing it, and she was fine with it. No, she might not have been. That's what I'm saying. That's that's the problem. She probably wasn't fine with it. That's the thing. People be jaded by fucking money. That that that's honestly, that's a huge reason of a lot of domestic violence in this country is financial things are tied up into it. Okay, but that's her fault, right? Exa she money. But no, no. And she I, sued no, Diddy for money, saying, and she I'm, got the money. I'm, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying that that is a huge reason for people. Think about it. She might have came from bumfuck nowhere. We don't know. Did Cassie come from nowhere? Absolutely nowhere. 
and she thought maybe this is this is my this is my ticket out. That's what I'm saying. That's psychological damage, regardless. I but don't is care. that not her using Diddy for money? But but okay, may maybe, but it still doesn't take away the fact that he put thing. his hands on her. It's he a put lot his of hands here's on my her. thing for the gay no, people you're out not, there. You're not, no, because there's gay no. people out there. Then they're like, "Well, he did this. He." They're looking at him in a negative way because he's gay, and I'm like, "We knew Diddy was gay." Tupac rapped about it. People said stuff about it. Madagascar, it's just like a Diddy party. We've seen all these signs of a Diddy party, but now that we've seen a video, everybody's ready to turn on him. So I'm saying, where was the outrage even two years ago? Where was the outrage three years ago? The shit has so, been happened. No, no, but where people, is the outrage? People are so... They need to be spoon fed nowadays. That's the th no no. Let me talk. Who? Let me talk. Everyone needs to be spoon fed nowadays. So the fact the smart that smart people actually, or the dumb people. The dumb people. Everyone exactly. who uses the a phone people. is dumb people right now. People who survive oh, off of social media, social media, they're dumb people right now. They're ignorant. Think about it. That's probably 80, 90 percent of the people. People who don't think for themselves. You got to think, people who are literally addicted to their phone, <laughs> they're addicted. What do you mean? They're addicted. So, yeah. the like, they have to be spoon-fed this shit. That's what I mean. So, it's like seeing a video, everyone kind of already knew that this was happening, but the intellectual people had to see it for them to actually be able to react. And that's why more stories are going to come out. Like I said, for me, the freak-offs and shit... That's okay. not so bad. No, 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 no. Y'all got an invitation. Y'all yeah, no, no. came, gave up y'all's phone, signed the NDA, yes. and now, got now freaky Justin, as hell at now, a, a Diddy party. Now the Justin B, can't judge now the that. Justin B, all the predatory shit is bad. I'm sorry. Soliciting what that all that's bad. My thing is, is Diddy the the problem with me is him? Is it Wale's car that he blew up? He blew up Kid Cudi's car. Kid Cudi's car. Sorry, Kid Cudi's car. That's a problem for me. The the whole how he set up everything with Biggie. That's a problem for me. That 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 to me is the larger reaction. But like I said, people who the ninety percent of folks who have to be spoon fed this shit, they're going to be so enthralled on the the woman violence. They're I'm sorry. They're going to be so. Drawn to drawn <laughs> you making up shit. <laughs> They're gonna be so drawn <laughs> to the like the, the domestic violence of it. Okay. They are. They're gonna be drawn to that. But the thing is, for me, yes, that's absolutely terrible. That should not fucking happen. Like he should definitely go down for that shit. But for me, who has seen all the patterns and things, the more thing that is is lingering behind that is the the deadly shit that he is obviously capable of. If he's all, and, and I think that's where it starts. Like everything is low key behind because it's like, all right, this is where we start. Where we start with the sexual perversions of him, and then we d dig deep further. We dig deep further, just like, Keep going. just like R. Kelly. Let's like you know what I'm saying? Audio. Like, just like R. Kelly. Just like R. Kelly, when we we had to dig deep, we had to dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper. Like it, it, it's just like, you know people like, are behind. Just like R. Kelly. Oh, just pretty like good. That shit right on our ass. All right, um, and it sounds so, good. Okay. My thing is, is uh, and here's the thing me, about R. Kelly. He was just the first one to go through this type of shit. Like, yo, R. Young Kelly, girls like, is crazy though. You can't sit here and try to stand up for R. Young Kelly girls, or Diddy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand for it. I don't care. I don't care what you say, it's wrong. The way they treated women is wrong. The way P. Diddy groomed uh, Bieber is absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. And Usher, it's wrong. It's wrong. So you're not gonna sit here on this platform, because I think, I, I think you like a reaction. That's the thing, you, you like the unpopular opinion. That's what you harp on. You like the unpopular opinion, and you try to get a reaction out of it, and I'm just not standing for that. I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you're smiling right now, because you do. What's up, man? You good? That's why she's... No, nah, it's... I'm good. How are you, right, young brother? Everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? 
You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five, five. Man, you good? So, I'm good. How are you? Five, five. You hit him with what? the five, five, five. <laughs> That's five, what I'm five. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five, five. Like it was set up for him to say five five five. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, young brother, everything's good. No, Selling out arenas that and that everything. Is. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. No. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact Baby with me, know you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. like knew what to ask, Stop. and then you the nigga say, "Oh, you want me to give you a camera now?" You don't think he had anything. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All young brother, everything's good. Selling out arenas and everything. I'm starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no, you no. ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Let's see what Meek Mill. Man, pull it up. Meek Mill P. Diddy. Go ahead. Run it. Well, I mean, you haven't. Look, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're professionals. I know. This is what, this, this wears this me out more one. than anything. The, exactly. This is weird too. Yeah, so as soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come to LA. Yeah, this gonna be yours. So every okay. time you come to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm gonna get the front shot in this. Man. Man. Okay. Okay. Alright, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16. You come down there, you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, you could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. Alright, no, 16. No, 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 slow down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's slow down, okay? One step at a time. But, yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. You're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. Alright. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay, I get the mansion. Yeah. Alright. So, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just, so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. I mean, look at um, Bieber, how he looks at you know, but um, it's definitely a fit. So we can't really disclose. They're having the times of their lives, like like like, the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose. But um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when when you know he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really I don't have so legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 Bieber hours, and took he's with to me. So, uh, and, and, and we're going to go full. Usher co signs but full Diddy. Crazy. No, I'm crazy. Why would Usher take. Why would Usher co sign. Hold on, no. Why would Usher co sign Bieber and take him to Diddy? Knowing that he himself has been at Diddy party since no, he was a kid. Come because, on. No, stop it. Stop no. It, Ronnie, stop it. You're no. not. No, you're not going to do no, this. No, I am. You're not. You're I am. Not do this. You're I not. am doing it. I'm doing it. You're not going to do it. I am. I'm doing no. it. I'm telling you. No, false. Because you know that it don't make no fucking sense. No. Why would. Why would Trauma Usher? So why would Usher sign? Trauma works. Why so would Usher, who has been through Diddy initiation, sign Bieber and send him through Diddy initiation? Why? Because he co-signs. That's all I'm saying. I'm not no. saying that what Diddy did is right. No. I'm saying Usher co-signs Diddy. That's that's my point. No. Well, then Usher needs to be locked up just like fucking. Then Diddy. say that. Don't say then, I'm then wrong. Just, Don't say I'm you wrong. You are wrong. That's no. what I'm saying. No. Then, then did he, then Usher needs to be locked no, up don't in a say I'm wrong. prison cell just like fucking him. But the thing is, is trauma works in weird fucking ways. That's probably he's like, well, that's what I had to go through to get to make it to get on top. So guess what? This little white kid from I don't even know where Idaho, where the fuck he is from. Where is Justin Bieber from? 
It's a good question. Do you know? I think Canada. 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 All right. Well, this Canadian little 15 year old, guess what? He going to go through the same trauma that I fucking went through. And honestly, they they need they need rep, they need punished for that. I'm all sorry. All right. Me, You're not going to sit there and tell me that that shit is not weird. Uh, uh, Cardi B is speaking out about... No, Cardi B is speaking out about no, Candace Owens. If you're 35, are you going to host a 15-year-old in your house that you have no... no Like, not your son inviting him over. If I'm in over. the industry, and he's, a, he's a major star. Fuck out of here. Of course Fuck I am. Fuck out of here. For of four, course 48 I am. hours? For two days? For all of his new fans? Fuck of course I am. Here. Fuck out of here. To think I'm the big brother? Of course I am. Fuck out of here. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a grown ass man. There's no reason for a sixteen year old boy. Niggas ain't ready for a real nigga answer. Whatever. Like, yo, you just found the next big thing. Do I not want to be a part of the next big thing? Of course I do. Cool. I don't give a fuck. MTV Cribs was out at that time. All that bullshit was out at the time. Like, yo, come to my house. I'm gonna show you how I live. What we do. And we're going to say that I'm your big bro for the next 48 hours and blah, blah, no, blah. I'm wrong. going to get my fucking shine wrong. off of, off of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. P. Diddy. You record right. a song. You go to the studio and record a fucking song. You don't you don't bring him to your house Nowadays, and show him your fucking cars. But back in the day. Nowadays, but back in the day. What? what? No. I'm, yeah. I'm going to disagree with you. Go ahead. Move.